What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Up early this morning, got up like 4 a.m. Decided to make a video for you wonderful people, all my subscribers and everybody else out here who comes to my videos. I love you guys so much. I can't believe you guys sit and watch them. It's great. I hope you're collecting these pictures too because that's why I'm making them. And what are we looking at? We've got a viewer request here. This came in from uh, Yellowfish27. He... Uh, Let's see here, where he is. It says, love watching your videos. Have you done anything on Curiosity? Sold 302 mass scam dated 6 12 13. Well, we have now. This I just found in the corner. This doesn't even look like what he was talking about. I think what he's talking about is over here. These interesting looking uh, shark teeth looking thing coming up. Almost looks like part of an egg or something that's hatched out, which is also next to another one here. It's pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if this is more a sign of underwater or something. It appears to change into color. Look at this really pink um, part of the rock there. It almost looks like it was either painted or it changes certain colors there. Very interesting. Let me go ahead and show you uh, not that much other else to this one. It's going to be a nice quick video for you guys. It's been a while since I had a quick video, so it's early. Um, I just wanted to get this out today. Here we go. So let me show you where I got this. As always... Um, I always put the link in the description. Just go to the description. If you're seeing this on somebody else's website, there's a YouTube button on the. If you hit the YouTube button on the bottom of this player, usually they'll take you right to the website, um, and then you can basically click on the description, hit this link right there. And instead of having to sit here and type all that in, you know, raw ID my, you know, equals zero, blah blah blah. You don't want to do that. It's a pain in the ass. Go hit the description, hit the link, save this on your computer. It's not that big. We need to keep these for all humanity. So I don't know what this, like I said, let's go in here and do what I usually do. What I like to do is I like to hit this auto color when I come in Photoshop because I think the, the rover adds a little bit of this brown color to it. It's not supposed to be there. And uh, the auto color will go ahead and it, it basically takes out. There's a couple ways to do this. I could also uh, color balance it with the actual uh the thing that came, like the uh, the color coordinator that comes with the Curiosity rover, but this is just as easy to do it. Photoshop knows that that's there and it shouldn't be there, and every time it looks like it does this, turns it into what looks like here on Earth. You can actually get the good the the picture out of it. And let's take a look down here. This is so interesting to me. I want to uh, play with the gamma a little bit on this one right here. Um, I mean, you know what? This is such a small picture. We can do it for the whole picture here. We don't have to. I have to single it out. We can do the whole thing. So let's see here. Let's play with the gamma just a tad. Bring that together. So interesting. Look, it almost looks like it's a little weird looking cat face, right? See the little nose and the two eyes and the smiling mouth. And uh, out of its head, it's got like one of those sippy cup things. I mean, it, that's what it looks like. I mean, or a worm or something that, along those lines. Um, a corkscrew. It definitely looks like it was made, whatever it was. Whether, you know, nature made it somehow, I'm not sure. Um, looks like something made it. You know, it looks like it was part. It looks like there is something missing to it, too. Like the rest of it's down in this, you know, buried in the dirt. But uh, let me see if I can't see it. I like it with the gamma up a little bit. Let me drop the exposure just a tad. And I'll come and hit it with the brightness. And then we'll, uh, let's make it a little bit bigger for the screen. Because I'm so used to doing this on my 27 inch. When I go watch my videos on my cell phone and stuff, like on my iPhone, I'm like, ah, man, I need to make that bigger. And it gets so blurry otherwise. But this, this doesn't look too bad. It's a pretty close up shot. So there's no, really no reason for it to be so blurry. I mean, my iPhone takes better pictures, and it wasn't a million-dollar machine, you know, billion-dollar machine. So, uh, what was I doing here? Okay, what I wanted to do was I just try the brightness and the contrast. See if I can help pull that up. Um, it's about the same, and you see the shadow behind it. So it's definitely it's not a, a illusion. You see the S curve behind it, and this is actually you can see how this comes out. It's almost like a little uh, stash man. I mean, it's like perfectly like Stewie, you know, on uh, Family Guy. It's pretty cool, I must say. I like that. That's uh, if that's what. Either way, I'm glad he sent that over. And then let's take a look at this here and see what we would come up with. This is anything. Um, let me go ahead and we'll reset what we were doing. Let me step backwards. Um, here we are. Okay. Now, this is interesting how it comes out of here. It almost looks like it's part of a geode or something. I don't know. What could have happened? It looks like this might have been underwater at some time here, too. Um, 
let's take back and take a step, take a look at the whole thing real fast. And what's really cool too is this pink color here. Almost looks like it hasn't washed away. It almost looks like some sort of ink that hasn't washed away. Um, up here on the wall too, looks like there might be something up there sitting there. See how it turns a different color there? It's almost like a little pinkish, like it's sitting on top of that. Who knows? I mean, who would have thought this would be here? <laughs> I think this will go, this will probably be my uh, my thumbnail for sure. I mean, that's just too cool, too interesting. If we go back, let's just take a quick look through here real fast. Uh, this back here is interesting too. You just can't get a good, a good, so this is what I just can't stand about these pictures sometimes. It's like, this should be sharp. This should be so sharp. Look, I mean, you're only taking a picture. Go outside with your old cell phone. Take a picture of a rock formation and, you, you know, it's anywhere. Go, go somewhere and take a picture of it from about 10 feet away. And you'll get a crystal clear picture. And you'll be able, it'll be two, three gigabytes. When you come in, you'll be able to see it. it I mean, this is the, the high resolution picture we're getting back. Drives me nuts sometimes. But I think this looks like it was underwater. It's, look how this is just kind of... You know, shoved up in there sideways. Um, anyways, guys, let's keep this area. There's not much else to this. Let's keep this quick. This does kind of look like a little fin, you know. But otherwise, this is this is what really got me here. Thanks, buddy. I always appreciate it. I got so many emails to get to, guys. If I haven't gotten to your major video yet, I promise I will get to you. I get probably 10 emails a day from people with different stuff and some are ongoing and things like that so i will definitely get to your stuff as soon as possible i love it keep sending it because we're basically getting all your stuff out to the world i'm gonna try and get everything you send me out this is interesting how that changes color too it looks like it's almost a uh almost looks like a, a diamond uh, what does it look like a uh, a ball plate home plate right there so Anyway, guys, much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Hit comment, like, you know, tell me what you think. You think that's man-made or Martian-made? You think that's uh, just nature-made that? It, or if you know something in nature that looks like that, you can send me a picture of that. would be awesome because next to it, too, almost looks kind of interesting as well. Almost like it's a piece of the same thing. So much love. Peace.